Hi, it's Katrina. From a turtle that looks like a punk rocker to a lizard we just discovered in the jungle, here are nine of the world's rarest reptiles. Number nine. Gharial. Sometimes called the fish-eating crocodile or the gavial, the gharial is an Asian freshwater crocodilian species with a distinctive, long, thin snout. It lives in rivers and spends little time on land, typically only leaving the water to sunbathe, which helps these cold-blooded reptiles to regulate their body temperature or to nest. Today, gharials are only found in parts of India and Nepal, although their range once extended from Pakistan to Myanmar, according to National Geographic. On average, these huge crocodiles grow between between 12 and 15 feet long and weigh up to 2,000 pounds. Males possess a distinctive appendage on their snout called a gara, the Hindu word for mud spot. They use this growth for mating displays, including vocalizing and blowing bubbles in the water. Since the 1940s, the gharial population has declined by roughly 98%, and the species is consequently listed as critically endangered. Like most threatened species on today's list, human activities are largely responsible for driving this unique creature to the brink of extinction. Overhunting, particularly for traditional medicine, and habitat changes, including the redirecting of rivers, are primary causal factors of the species' dramatically reduced presence. Fishing is also a problem, leading to many juvenile gharials being caught in nets and drowned. To reduce poaching and hopefully restore the gharial population, the Indian government extended full protection to the species during the 1970s. In following decades, captive breeding programs in India and Nepal led to 6,000 specimens being released into the wild, but it's unknown if or how successful these programs were due to a lack of oversight. Number 8. Roti Island Snake-Necked Turtle The critically endangered Roti Island Snake-Necked Turtle is known for its uniquely long neck, which prevents the turtle from directly withdrawing its head into its shell, instead folding its neck sideways. Native to the Indonesian island of Roti, the species can also be found in Australia, New Guinea, and East Timor. This creature is among the world's 15 most threatened turtle species. The creature is still hunted for food, but the main perpetuating factor of its impending demise is the international exotic pet trade. Additionally, there are only three breeding populations on roti, and their habitat is extremely limited, occupying just 27 square miles. People will pay a high price to have their very own roti island snake neck turtle, but the species itself will pay the ultimate price, in the form of its existence being wiped off the map if conservation efforts are unsuccessful. There are captive breeding programs, but increased oversight and efforts against the illegal wildlife trade are also necessary. The alarming decline of this fascinating creature also calls attention to the dire need for consumers to make informed and responsible purchasing decisions, especially when it comes to the exotic pet trade. A little bit of education can go a long way for true animal lovers, who would undoubtedly choose to preserve their favorite species by leaving them in the wild where they belong, and by refusing to spend money on the harmful practice of bringing an endangered specimen into captivity and supporting wildlife traffickers. And now for one of my favorites, but first, be sure to subscribe if you are new here and let me know your favorite reptile in the comments below. Number 7. Armadillo Lizard This little guy is actually real. The armadillo lizard is a terrestrial lizard species that gets its name from its tendency to curl into a ball in a defensive position, just like an armadillo. It will stay like this for about an hour if it has to, to protect its delicate belly and other body parts from harm. But this creature, which is native to South Africa, is fascinating for reasons beyond its unique armor. For one, armadillo lizards are viviparous, meaning they are among the few reptile species who do not lay eggs and instead give live birth. They are also insectivores, who feed primarily on termites and require very little food to survive. Despite its somewhat intimidating appearance, this slow-moving species has an oddly docile demeanor, except during mating season when males become uncharacteristically territorial. Their overall calm and gentle attitude, however, makes armadillo lizards vulnerable to other creatures, particularly humans. Armadillo lizards are threatened due to both their uniqueness and because they're relatively easy to catch, making them a popular exotic pet. Consequently, they are profitable and therefore attractive to illegal wildlife traffickers. Unfortunately for pet owners, many of whom undoubtedly mean well, the ugly truth to keeping armadillo lizards in captivity is that it's actually harmful for the species as a whole, and buying one may very well help support smuggling and other crimes. The lesson? It's best for these fascinating creatures to admire them from a distance and to discourage the illegal animal trade. Number 6. 
Leatherback Sea Turtle Named for the texture of its shell, the Leatherback Sea Turtle is the world's largest turtle, and they are super huge, way bigger than I thought, with front flippers measuring up to 8.9 feet. It's also the last surviving member of both the Dermochelys genus and the Dermochelidae family. Unlike most other modern sea turtles, the Leatherback Sea Turtle lacks a bony shell and has a carapace that is covered by skin and oily flesh. If you see them in the water, they are one of the most beautiful and graceful creatures you'll ever encounter. But the giant leatherback sea turtle hides a secret that you'll rarely see, its terrifying mouth and throat. It's the largest species of turtle and the third largest reptile in the world, so it needs to eat a lot to survive. They have hundreds of giant spikes, known as papillae, that line the turtle's throat all the way down to its gut. This species is highly migratory, crossing both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, and has a wide distribution, but is listed as vulnerable on the International Union for Conservation of Nature Red List. Some popular populations are considered critically endangered. The leatherback sea turtle's numbers have reduced dramatically over the last century, mainly due to egg collection and from ending up as bycatch in fishing nets. Plastic pollution also has a devastating effect on sea turtle populations in general. An estimated 52% of the world's sea turtles have ingested plastic waste that is floating around in the world's oceans, mistaking things like plastic bags for their favorite foods like jellyfish, algae, or other creatures that turtles eat. Eating plastic can lead to death by causing intestinal blockages and rupturing internal organs. Turtles also sometimes become entangled in plastic waste, including discarded and abandoned fishing nets, and drown or are unable to escape predators as a result. Baby sea turtles are also threatened by plastic, which accumulates along nesting beaches and blocks their path to the ocean. The bottom line is that in order to save the leatherback and other sea turtle species from inevitable extinction, the world's citizens and governments must take a firmer stance against plastic pollution and must work harder to develop and use more environmentally friendly materials. Number 5. Psychedelic Rock Gecko There are only an estimated 500 adult psychedelic rock geckos left in the wild, and they are only found on the tiny Vietnamese island of Han Khoai. These extremely rare lizards are threatened primarily by habitat loss and predation, mainly by the invasive long-tailed macaque, according to Australian Geographic contributor Beck Crew. Much like the armadillo lizard, the psychedelic rock gecko is also a victim of the exotic pet trade, and this harmful trafficking further endangers the species. It's easy to see by taking just one look at the creature, why people are so drawn to it. After all, there is a reason the species has the word psychedelic in its name. The psychedelic rock gecko's neck and head are covered in splashes of daffodil yellow, while its lavender body, which almost looks like it's lit up from within, is accented with a bright orange tail, belly, and feet. The animal also appears to wear bright green eyeshadow due to the vivid markings right above its eyes. Sadly, in the mere decades since scientists first discovered the psychedelic rock gecko, its population has already dwindled to near nothing. Since 2013, trappers and smugglers have made the species readily available in Europe for as much as $3,400 per pair. Despite the creature's black market value, the little studied species remains rather enigmatic to scientists. Researchers have established some known facts about the psychedelic rock gecko, however, which qualify it as unique in various ways. For one, unlike most other Southeast Asian geckos, both males and females, and even immature specimens, bear the same coloring and patterns. The species the species also does not utilize any camouflaging abilities it may or may not have, instead choosing to openly sunbathe rather than conceal itself among foliage and other elements of its surroundings. However beautiful this creature may be, it's too bad that the psychedelic rock gecko does not blend in better with its environment. Perhaps it would be more difficult for wildlife traffickers to catch and smuggle. Number 4. Mary River Turtle or the Punk Turtle The Mary River Turtle is perhaps the most unique looking turtle out there, nicknamed the Punk Turtle for its bright green mohawk, this distinctive creature is endemic to Queensland, Australia's Mary River. This ancient species diverged from all other living turtles around 40 million years ago, long before humans split from other primates, roughly 10 million years ago. Shockingly, the Mary River turtle was kept captive as a pet for over two decades before scientists formally described it as a species. Since the 1970s, its population rapidly declined, earning the species the IUCN Red List classification of endangered. The Mary River turtle is threatened by the lengthy amount of time it takes for specimens to reach sexual maturity, with most only starting to breed at around 25 years old. The building of dams in the creature's natural habitat and its popularity as a pet prevent the species from breeding, but conservation programs hope to turn its bleak numbers around in coming years. Number 3. Earless Monitor Lizard The earless monitor lizard's scientific name, Lanthanotus bornini,
Borneensis literally translates to found in Borneo, and that's because it was in 1877. Between then and recent years, less than 100 specimens were captured by scientists and collectors. That all changed starting in 2008, when a research team commissioned by an oil palm company surveyed a dense area of jungle in Indonesian Borneo. Their job was to identify any environmental and or cultural factors that may be adversely affected if the area were converted into a plantation, and the earless monitor lizard was their most noteworthy find. Before even realizing that they had stumbled upon such a valuable and rare specimen, the group eagerly interacted with the uniquely gentle, foot-long brown and yellow creature, which had pronounced scales, a snake-like body, and a dragon-like cartoonish face, Rachel Neuer reported in a 2019 Wired article. The researchers published the details of their incredible discovery in 2012, craftily omitting any identifying information about exactly where they found the lizard, or so they thought, in hopes of preventing exotic pet traffickers and collectors from tracking down and capturing the elusive creature. But determined reptile enthusiasts and those looking to profit from the trade figured out where to find the earless monitor lizard based on the limited information that was released, and soon enough, these rare creatures flooded into the classifieds and began appearing in people's reptile collections. This served as a sobering reminder to the scientific community that even though it's important to share information about endangered species with fellow researchers, wildlife collectors and smugglers are relentless in their pursuits for lucrative exotic specimens. Unfortunately, situations like this beg the question of whether it's necessary to keep some information out of public hands. At the same time, establishing easily available field data is necessary for preserving threatened species. So what's the solution to this quandary? Scientists are still trying to figure that out. Meanwhile, the earless monitor lizard and other threatened and rare species are becoming even more endangered at the hands of the exotic pet trade. What do you think scientists should do? Let me know in the comments below. Number 2. Abingdon Island Giant Tortoise Officially the world's rarest reptile, according to Guinness World Records, the Abingdon Island Giant Tortoise, a subspecies of the also incredibly rare Galapagos Giant Tortoise, was until relatively recently represented by a single known specimen nicknamed Lonesome George. They, or he, was also known as the Pinta Giant Tortoise. Despite being the current record holder for the title of the world's rarest reptile, George unfortunately passed away in 2012, at over 100 years old. But even before then, experts had little to no hope that this giant tortoise would carry on after George passed away, so they already considered the subspecies to be effectively extinct despite the remaining lone survivor. Interestingly, George wasn't only considered lonesome because he was the last known member of his subspecies, but also due to his apparent aversion to female tortoises. Once upon a time, the Galapagos Islands contained thousands of giant tortoises, encompassed by around 15 subspecies. Those days are long gone, courtesy of human activity during the 18th and 19th century, which saw many, if not most, of the giant tortoise populations in the Galapagos archipelago hunted nearly to extinction. As a result, scientists and conservationists are scrambling against the clock to save the few remaining subspecies from disappearing completely. Number 1. Round Island Keel-Scaled Boa The Round Island Keel-Scaled Boa is the last surviving member of the Boliridae family, and it's also not a true boa. In fact, the species diverged from all other snakes around 65 million years ago, right before the dinosaurs went extinct. It has the distinction of being the only terrestrial vertebrate with a special joint in its upper jaw that can separate the anterior and posterior bones. This nocturnal snake also changes colors gradually over a 24-hour time span, turning dark during the daytime when it's inactive and becoming lighter at night. There was once a round island keel-scaled boa population present on mainland Mauritius and other surrounding islands, but humans introduced invasive species such as rats and pigs, which then depleted the snake's presence everywhere except Round Island, the only island which remained rodent-free, thereby acting as a de facto sanctuary for the serpents. Other animals, like rabbits and goats, contributed to the creature's demise by destroying its habitat. Thanks to a rehabilitation program, which removed grazing animals from Round Island and seeks to restore the snake's population, the Round Island keel-scaled boa's numbers are increasing. The snake was even reintroduced to the nearby island of Gunner's Quan. Thanks for watching! Which one was your favorite? If you'd like to learn more about the world's rarest reptiles, let me know in the comments below because there's plenty more where that came from. While you're at it, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon! Bye!